Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I'm, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N Y. And the second word is and, spelled A N D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Our first uh, sharing today is from someone who's uh, read both of our books and also has been listening to our weekly radio shows now for quite a while. Sounds like at least a couple of years. Um, and they've been asking God what to do and asking for inspirations and ideas before they do things during the day. And they ask God often for inspirations and ideas before they do things. And they recently met two, two new friends and tell us that they were asking God what to do and what to ask and what to say during the process of meeting two new people. And in the first case, uh, they were speaking to another man uh, and they were inspired to ask the person when, while they were getting to know each other uh, what city they lived in. And it turned out that the person responded, uh, they lived in the same city as the person sharing the story with us now, but they had lived about 60 or 70 miles away from that same city and grew up in a, in a different city, uh, 60 or 70 miles away. And they shared how they were an altar boy at a certain church in that city. And it turns out that the person sharing with us was inspired to ask that question, where do they live? Because now what was revealed is uh, the person sharing with us also grew up in that same city and also was a member of the same church that this friend, this new friend, had been an altar boy in for many, many years. So the coincidence of all this is unfolding because the person sharing with us is telling us they asked God to inspire them what to say while they were meeting this new friend and they were inspired to ask them what city they lived in and the unfolding was that now they both know they came from the same city which is like 60 or 70 miles away from where they both currently live now uh, not only that but the other person that they were just meeting was an altar boy in the same church uh, that he also lived in when he was living in that city so that was the first case. The second case, they met another new friend recently. And in the process of talking about things and, and telling them about our books, actually, uh, because they were sharing some things that they were doing in their life, and one of them was they read the two books and they've listened to our radio show. 
So they were sharing that with this other person. And in this case, they were inspired to ask them what their name was. And the person responded that their name was Praise Lee, spelled P-R-A-I-S-E, which is praise, and then add the letters L-Y. And it turns out this person named Praisley was named that by their parents because their parents were very much in tune with the fact that the Bible indicates that we should always be praising God. Praising God meaning complimenting God and glorifying God for all the wonderful things that God does. You know, if we just think about it for a few moments, God is perfect in every way. And he's all-powerful and all-knowing and all-wise. And so certainly God is um, indeed uh, worthy of being praised by everyone. Uh, He's created us. He created the universe, etc. So you never run out of things to praise God for. So this person was named Praisley. And most people just call them Praisley and don't realize unless... Uh, the person decides to reveal why they're named Praisley. So I'm delighted to share with you that someone's parents were so in tune with God that they named their child Praisley. And the person sharing with us today only was able to share this with us because while they were meeting new friends, they got into the discussion of why they were named Praisley. Uh, And so we were able to share that with you today too. Our next coincidence miracle is from someone who was preparing to go on vacation and they had two doctors who were modifying a couple of their prescriptions. So they asked the doctors to send the scripts over to the pharmacy so they could pick up enough supply to take with them on vacation. And they went to pick up the uh, the meds when, when the pharmacy said they were ready. And normally they just pick them up and leave, but on this particular day they He felt a strong nudge and a strong prompting to review the uh, prescriptions before they left the pharmacy because they had a copy of the scripts the doctor had sent over uh, to the pharmacy. And they didn't know why, but they sat down before they left the pharmacy and checked and found that both cases, in both cases, two different doctors, two different prescriptions, but the... uh, amount of dosage that was prescribed by the doctor was changed erroneously by the doctor's offices. Both doctor's offices had sent over to the pharmacy the wrong dosage on both prescriptions. And so what they're sharing with us today is uh, based on, you know, a lot of our shows talking about keep asking God all day long what to do, ask God for ideas, inspirations all day long, and follow the inspirations that God gives you. So what they're sharing this story with us, uh, the reason for it is because they're delighted they did that. Otherwise, they would have been away on vacation with the wrong dosage on two medications uh, because they were going to leave, leave that day and go on vacation. So, So once again, I think the good news is If we keep asking God what to do and trusting and following the ideas and inspirations that pop into our heads after asking God what to do, we'll experience miracles like this all the time. And imagine what a disaster it would be to be away on vacation, long distance away, and have the wrong meds and wrong dosage. Another listener tells us that they're grateful that we keep reminding our listeners to ask for inspirations and ideas all throughout the day because they're finding now that by doing that, by asking more often during the day, they've been noticing many, many more coincidence miracles. And they realize that in the past, when they weren't noticing coincidence miracles and wondered why they weren't, because they're hearing our show talk about how many people do notice coincidence miracles, the key reason why is they have not been asking God to send them inspirations and ideas throughout the day. And I know I've shared in the past that Several people, before they get out of bed in the morning and before they put their feet on the floor, they ask God to bless them throughout the day. They have some standard prayers that they ask, but one of the things they ask for is that God will please inspire them and send ideas to them throughout the day, specifically asking for God to do that, to ask God to interrupt their day, to break into their day, and send them ideas and inspirations 
during the day. And the logic and rationale for this, asking God every morning to in, in, inspire them and interrupt their day is because God has given us free will. We have free will. And, you know, God uh, apparently doesn't want to just uh, usurp our will by interrupting us during the day. So it's wise for us to ask God to please do interrupt us. Please do every day interrupt us and send us inspirations and ideas to help to guide us. And if you ask that, if you pray that in the morning, then you can rest assured that God is going to do that because you're giving him permission to interrupt your day and take away your free will in those moments. And it's a great blessing. Many people are experiencing coincidence miracles because they've asked God to please interrupt their day all day long. Our next story is something that happened to me, and I thought I would share with you. Uh, I get inspired on certain days to change my delivery when I'm passing out cards, change the kinds of things that I say. And recently I was inspired to ask people when I handed out their card, you know, would you like a two-minute summary uh, about what the book is about? And I, when I offer that to people, many, many people are interested. Uh, they see the card, it's interesting, and they are willing to take two minutes. So I've been stressing a few things. I thought I would stress for you now today what I've been stressing that becomes very successful when I hand out the cards. The first thing is to tell people that we've had 10,000 saints, 10,000 saints in the last 2,000 years, and there's a commonality in the saints. They all had mental telepathy. To tell people that and then express that we too, we humans, receive mental telepathy because it's a gift from God. God speaks to us using mental telepathy. That's why we have the word inspired because that's what that means. Then I stress for them that there are 2,000 pages in a typical Bible. 2,000 pages in a typical Bible. And if they go to the book of Luke, chapter 10, book of Luke, chapter 10, they'll see that only one thing is necessary. And that thing that's necessary in Luke chapter 10 is clearly stated. Uh, it's in verses uh, 1038 through uh, 1042. And it indicates all we have to do is keep asking God questions. If we keep asking God questions, and if we keep asking him to inspire us and send us ideas, we wind up all day long experiencing coincidence miracles. The next thing that's very helpful when I'm passing out cards is to explain to people that in the Bible, Psalm number 139, Psalm 139 and Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 23, both of those things in the Bible indicate that God is everywhere. And in order to be everywhere, God has to be within the confines of even the smallest particle, the smallest thing on the planet. And that means that God is present in within each drop of water, and he's also present within each drop of blood. And I was sharing this with several people as I was passing out cards, and I was so blessed by the whole process, by sharing these things that I've just cited for you, many, many people were excited and really interested in going to our website uh, and getting our books because of what I just told them in those four or five simple things. And the fact that God is present in every drop of water in the ocean, God is present in every drop of blood within each of our bodies. One of the last persons I saw that day was so excited and happy to hear this message that God is present in every atom and every molecule, every drop of water. They waved a book in front of my face that they were reading, and they showed me the title of the book. The title of the book was Jesus Inside of Me. That was the title of the book they were reading, Jesus Inside of Me, and they said that my message was a confirmation and affirmation of their book. Isn't that amazing? And imagine my joy at hearing that confirmation. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week.